Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and I am going to start a new series on Epic Universe. Not just the constru not construction, but determining what's in Epic Universe. These are all the rumored rides and restaurants uh, and everything basically everything in each land. I'm going to go into detail and go land by land, video and separate videos. And we're going to talk about what is coming to each land. So what can you expect when this, when this park opens in just under two years from now? We're going to start off with the dark universe because this land is so fascinating to me and i think it's gonna look absolutely amazing we're gonna talk about what was originally pro proposed for this land and now what's eventually gonna be what's being built here right now which is a roller coaster a dark ride a couple of cool restaurants a village and that's about it but it's gonna look absolutely amazing it's actually we're gonna talk about how it's kind of similar to Hogsmeade in the in the layout of the land, which is pretty interesting. I feel like they use that as a blueprint, put the with the village in the front and the two rides in the back type of ordeal. So pretty interesting how they kind of use that Harry Potter, the first Harry Potter Hogsmeade, as a kind of a blueprint. It seems like for the development of this land. All right, so let's start with the portal. The portal to this land. Each each land will have a different themed portal. This portal will be themed to a really creepy looking tree you'll go under the tree branch and come under under a uh, roof awning into a village this village is rumored to be called darkmoor based on tra trademarks um that the wonderful alicia Sella has found for us and in this village will be restaurants like some quick service restaurants and maybe a magic shop a tattoo uh a tattoo shop potentially um and various shops and restaurants and be very big, uh, big, uh, big buildings, but also big plot, like a big walking area, not like Hogsmeade where it's very, you know, compact. And then the two, the lands to rides will be in the back area. So as you can see, the original concept art here, you see a large kind of amphitheater theater area for a show, potentially for the monsters area. And obviously you don't see that being built right here. That's because early on through the process, the show was actually cut in favor of yet another attraction, this spinning coaster, which is going to be a mock spinning coaster. At first, they were thinking it could be a mock extreme spinning coaster, like something as you see like Time Traveler in Silver, Silver Dollar City, and also there's one in China as well, I believe in Happy Valley. But instead, they decided to go with something more similar to what Sierra Sidewinder is at Knott's Bay Farm, and that is a mock family spinning coaster more family spinning coaster so it's more accessible to everyone and, and adds a ride to do for you know a lower height requirement which is quite nice this coaster is rumored based on trademarks to be called the curse of the werewolf and obviously be themed around the werewolf as you see it has a show scene which is in that barn area and it's actually gonna have a shuttle element so the track length looks short but the ride time will be longer than it actually seems because when you get go through that barn element you'll be going through what is called a swing launch so though you'll you won't make it up the first that hill you'll kind of fall back to a roll back and kind of go backwards do a backwards launch and then a forwards launch out of the show scene and then you'll go you'll finish the rest of the track no word on what's going to be in the show scene maybe you'll see uh, if we're lucky maybe an animatronic of the werewolf himself that would be really really cool but that that should add some ride time to the a relatively short coaster this coaster does have some pretty good theming though besides the barney the queue you see some under construction steel structures there um that will have obviously a covered station but there'll be some other theming elements in the queue that are starting to shape up again uh, right now and i can't wait to see what they're going to be and you and you and i can find out together if you subscribe to the channel and check out my bi-weekly usually about bi-weekly epic universe construction updates thank you to, thanks to bio reconstruct to post these awesome overhead photos every couple of weeks he um posts tons of them and we go over them and break them all down right here on the channel every couple of weeks so if you're not subscribed already and if you're interested in the construction of these lands and to see what this the finished product looks like definitely give this channel a subscribe and like the video as well so that is the family attraction for the land that one that will have a lower height requirement presumably um than the main e ticket attraction this one sounds very very cool and will be very similar to harry potter in the forbidden journey at least in the ride system so this ride is rumored to be themed to frankenstein's manor you can kind of see that manor um forming right now through the facade and through all the structure work um, and even an archway into the queue area right over there. 
but this is themed to be a Frankenstein's Manor and Victoria Frankenstein is here to play. Yeah, the rumored uh, storyline of this attraction is Victoria Frankenstein is mad how this tourist or this town has been turned into a tourist town from it used to be Frankenstein's, you know, Frankenstein's Manor. But now this area is now a tourist area. So she came back and wanted to give the tourists a little bit of a surprise. So in this manor, all these monsters are locked up. And rumor is going to be on the right of you go be passing by all these monsters, which will be animatronics. Every single one of them is rumored to be an animatronic, by the way. And yeah, Victoria is not too happy. She wants to give the uh, visitors a little surprise and she lets all the monsters out so you have to escape the monsters as you go through this manor of frankenstein in the queue there's rumor there's a rumor to be uh animatronic of victoria frankenstein herself as well welcoming you to the castle and uh playing nicely before uh not letting you know that she has a bag of tricks up her sleeve but yeah this uh, rise system will be very simple will be exactly the same almost as the harry potter and the Forbidden journey rise system the kooka arm system but it will be a little less claustrophobic there won't be um flaps with you next to you on the bench so you'll have more open space and there won't be anything over your head either based on new permits or recent patents for this new ride system and rumors also say that it could be on a rail as well there's an upgraded version of the ride system but not sure if that's actually going to be the case because due to other photos from recent bi uh, bio reconstruct photos there have been track pieces on site for this ride and it looks just like the bus bar system from the uh, or the kooka arm system that harry potter and the forbidden, forbidden journey has so may not be on the upgraded rail version but um it'll be less claustrophobic and there'll be many fewer should be fewer screens if any screens on this attraction than harry potter and the forbidden journey which would be fantastic and quite the upgrade lastly There'll be a very cool windmill restaurant here, um, one of the more unique dining experiences in this land besides, besides just some quick service. This windmill restaurant is rumored to be built into a mountain, so you can kind of go into the mountain to enter it, kind of like a hidden hideout. And at nighttime, the windmill is supposed to exp like catch on fire every 15 to 30 minutes or so, um, just like in the movie so that should be cool permits have been filed for electric uh, like gas lines and stuff so that seems to be still happening uh, which is awesome so that'll be a really cool experience and this is in the back of the land in between uh the two attractions and there you have it that is the dark universe the rumor name for the classic monsters land here at epic universe you have the two attractions the coaster and the dark ride the very headlining dark ride the windmill restaurant and the village which will have a variety of shops and restaurants as well if you like this video press that thumbs up button if you want to see what else is coming to epic universe subscribe because i'll be doing videos on the other four lands how to train a dragon harry potter super nintendo world and the hub because each of those have attractions and shows and restaurants very all themed to their respective ips and it'll be very very cool very very interesting so stay tuned for that as epic universe ramps up if you liked this video press the thumbs up again and have an epic day